Now once we're here, all the drivers have been installed and it's ready for me to log on. So the username is Pi, P-I, and then Raspberry, R-A-S-P-B-E-R-R-Y as the password, and press enter. This will then let you in as the root user, and you will also be presented with the um, console command. Now once we're here, we need to head off, and I'm going to do everything through the GUI interface. So I'm going to go to start, S-T-A-R-T, X. And what that will do is actually bring up the Linux GUI interface for us, which will make it look more like a Windows machine, and we'll be able to use the mouse and the keyboard um, together to actually move around. So here we are at our um, GUI interface. Some things you need to be aware of. If you've got your network lead plugged in, you should see some computers up the top here, the top right hand corner. If you're on a Wi Fi and you've got the Wi Fi NIC in, you can actually see connect to a Wi Fi through that as well. There is the menu on the left hand side, which will give you all your options. Also, there is the web browser, the file, so to get to the file system, and also a bash console. We're going to be working from the Linux console at the moment, so I'm just going to click on that. Now the first thing I'm going to do in here is I'm actually going to, to edit and I'm going to go to preference. And I'm just going to make my font a lot bigger so you'll be able to see it from home. And I'm just going to take that up to about a 20 point font and click OK. You don't need to do this at the moment. And I'm just going to do a little bit of a screen readjust so it fits nicer in my screen. So now you should be able to easily see the console as we're working. Okay, one of the first things we need to do is actually um, start by getting all the updates. So we need to use sudo, which is like the power user command for root. We're going to app get, and we're going to get all the updates. So app get update. So what this will actually do is get all the updates for us, and what it actually really gets for us is all the links to the new updates. So what I'm going to do is zoom in a little bit more just to help us see what is going on. Once it's finished doing that, I'm going to push the up arrow key which brings back the previous command because I need the sudo app get and I'm going to change that now to upgrade. What this will do is update our Linux. Now we're looking at installing a lamp, so we're going to have Linux, we're going to have Apache, we're going to have MySQL and PHP. So that's our lamp stack for our web server so at the moment we need to update our, um, our Linux to make sure it's the most up-to-date version that we've got if you get a question answer yes to the questions with a Y enter now once that's finished installing we can now look at installing the next part of the stack. So we've updated our Linux, so what we want to now do is install with the following command, sudo um, app apt get install apache so this will now install apache 2 answer why to the questions once more once that's installed we can then install PHP 5 so I'm just pushing the up arrow again removing the very last part and put PHP and the number 5 and press enter once again answer why to the question because it needs to use room on the card Once that's finished installing, we can then install the next part, which is looking at the MySQL. So we're going to install a couple of things here. So I'm pushing the up arrow again, I'm pushing delete, delete, delete. And then I'm going to put in MySQL um, minus client. And also I want MySQL minus server. And while we're here, we might as well also install Tomcat. 
6 and also VS FTP D as part of a web stack as well and press enter. So this is going to install a couple of things for us and once again answer why. It will also ask us for a username and a password, ask us for a password for the root of MySQL. So when it does ask you for the root password for MySQL, it's a good idea that you write this down because once again this is not going into production. I'm going to have a very easy password of LWM and I'll be asked to confirm that. So the new password for MySQL root user will be LWM. Press enter and repeat the password LWM. Enter. But if it was going into production I would use a different password altogether.